Right now, there is a new federal rule that says companies cannot enforce non-compete agreements. According to the FTC, roughly one in five workers have these clauses in their contract. Now, here to talk more about this is Nine News legal expert Whitney Trailer. Whitney, good morning to you. Good morning to you. Okay, break down this new yeah. rule for us and who exactly it applies to. Well, the FTC, the Federal Trade Commission, implemented this rule that will be effective in August, and it essentially applies to all industries other than insurance companies, banks, the airlines, and nonprofits. So there's certain exceptions, but essentially it's saying that, hey, if you have a non-compete saying you're an employee, you work for a company, the non-compete says if you leave us, you can't go to another company for a certain amount of time, those are no longer enforceable. If this rule stands up, that's what the FTC is saying. So let's say someone's sitting in the middle of a contract right now where it is written in the contract yes. that there's this non-compete clause. Would that still exist? Does it grandfather right. in or does that go away? That's a great question. And essentially, <laughs> it goes away except for senior executives who have policy making decision and that essentially is folks who are making over $151,000. So those would still remain in force. Now this has already been challenged. Can you talk about that a little bit? Yes, it's been challenged. There was a lawsuit the day this was announced, the rule was announced, even though it doesn't go into effect until August, there were two lawsuits. One, uh, well, one was uh, uh, a company out of Texas that's challenging it and then the U.S. Chamber of Commerce also filed in a different district in Texas. And so they're gonna challenge it and th there will be a lot of litigation because the question is, does the FTC have the authority? They're a federal administrative agency that regulates businesses to kind of promote competition and, and uh, prohibit anti-competitive actions. So um, some are saying, hey, the FTC, it's, it's five people. It was voted three to two along party lines, three Democrats and two Republicans. And they say this should not be able to affect all the industries, but that is the purpose of the FTC. So the litigation is going to be relevant. I think employees are like, yes, and employers are like freaking out about yes. it, right? So how is this going to affect businesses? Yeah, it's going to have a major impact. And so now there's a lot of uh, lawyers advising employers, hey, draft these very narrowly because we don't know what's going to happen. They're saying the FTC is saying, hey, this is going to save workers several billion over the next however many years and it's going to promote people being able to start their own business because that's another part of the prohibition right. is uh, not being able to start your own business. So they're saying this is going to open things up. The businesses are saying this is going to this is going to be bad for competition actually because they're saying hey when we have a highly paid executive they can be paid more for having this non-compete. Right. But that doesn't apply necessarily to the lower income workers. So um, this, this will have a major impact if it stands. Well, this is just one of the new rules from the FTC that we're following very closely. Yeah. So we'll see what happens here. Whitney, we appreciate your time this morning. For sure.